Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a phone button template, which allows you to customize the functionality of the buttons on your phone. So once you've logged into the CUCM, you'll want to go to Device, then Device Settings, then we'll come down to Phone Button Template. Now, if you click Find, you'll see that you already have a long list of phone button templates already pre-configured. And depending on what version of the CCM you're running, it will determine exactly which ones you'll have. I'm running, I believe it's uh, 11.6. Now, I want to build a new phone button template for one of my 9971 phones. And rather than trying to find it in this long list, I'm just going to come up here to the drop down and select Contains, and then type in 9971. And there's only one for 9971. Now, the best way to go about this is to just copy the existing 9971 template and then modify that. And we can either click on the template here, then go up to the top and click Copy. Or even better, you can go back to the previous page and click this little Copy icon over here on the right-hand side. So the first thing you need to do is give it a name and then save it. So we'll call this standard 9971 SIP, but we'll add with SD because we're going to configure one of the buttons to be a speed dial button. Then click Save. Now over on the left-hand side is the button information and the feature. And over on the right-hand side are labels for those buttons. Now one thing to keep in mind is that we're building a template, and templates are meant to be applied to multiple phones, not just a single endpoint. So at this point, it's best to keep the labels as generic as possible. In just a bit, we'll see how we can go in and modify these labels on an, on an individual level, but for now, we're going to just keep it generic. Okay, so let's go back over to the button information. We have line one at the top, and notice that there's no way for us to change or modify this button. It will always be a line, uh, line one in fact. What we can do is change all these other buttons below. We can set uh, button number two as an additional line, or you can see there's actually a wide range of functionality we can assign to it. Uh, call park, call pickup, hunt group, logout. We have a wide range of options. Now, uh, I'm not really going to get into explaining all these options since that's kind of beyond the scope of this video, but we'll certainly come back and explore them, some of which are really cool in future videos, so stay tuned for that. So let's just keep it simple and configure a second line and a speed dial button that we can use to call another extension. And just to kind of switch things up a bit, let's make button number two a speed dial button and then button three a second line. Okay, then click Save. Okay, so now that's configured, let's go back and register a 9971 phone using the template that we just created. So we'll go Device, Phone, and then Add New. We'll select 9971 from the drop-down, then click Next. I'll put in the MAC address and for the description, we'll just say 9971 top. And for device pool, we'll just use the RTP phone. By the way, if you want to know more about device pools, uh, check in the link in the upper right hand corner. I just recently made a video about that. Now when we click phone button template, we can see the new template that we just created. We'll select that and come down to owner and select anonymous. Then we'll go down to device security profile and select 9971 non-secure profile. Then from the SIP profile, we'll select standard SIP profile. Then we'll click Save, and then OK. OK, over here we can see uh, these are the changes that we made to the template. Now remember button 1 was a line, and we can't change that, but we made button 2 a speed dial button, and uh, button 3 was our second line. So let's go ahead and configure line one as we usually would. We'll make this 1001. Then save that. We'll go back by clicking go in the related links. Next we'll configure our speed dial. Let's put in 1003 for the number. 
Now on the right hand side, this is where we can uh, give it a unique label. So here we can say something like uh, Tony Stark, and then we'll save it and then close it. And then finally, we'll configure line two the same way we configured line one, except we'll make it uh, 1002, I guess, and then save that. And then we'll apply config, click OK, and we should be all set. Okay, so if we come over here, we can see the phone I just configured, and then I also registered an additional phone with an extension 1003, just so we'd have another line to call. So here we have extension 1001. Then button number two, we'll press Tony Stark, and it dials extension 1003. Then button number three is our second line, extension 1002. So if we come down to our other phone and dial 1002, we can see that it calls our second line. And that's phone button templates. Not much to it, but pretty cool either way. So if you like this video, please subscribe so that you can be notified whenever there's a new one available. Otherwise, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.